Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Welcome again to another study of the Word of God. We want to go straight to the Word of God. We want to worship Him. Welcome on board. Thank you for joining us. Please, you can please invite, invite everyone. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. Please invite everyone straight online. We are starting the Bible study. So if you are on Facebook, if you are on YouTube, you are welcome to join us live in Jesus' name. Let us worship the Lord. Let us worship Him in the beauty of His holiness. Praise the Lord. Let's worship Him. Amen, amen. Blessings and glory, wisdom, thanksgiving, and honor, power, and glory belong to my God forever and ever. Sins and glory, wisdom, thanksgiving. Oh, ah, no, no, power, man, belong to my God forever and ever. Amen. Thou art worthy. Thou art worthy, O oh Lord. O oh Lord, to receive glory. And power for thou art created. All the things are for your pleasure. They are all were created. Who is life unto the day? Oh, Lord. Oh, his life unto thee. Oh, Lord, and then among the gods. Oh, his life for you are glorious in holiness and fearful in Always do it wonders, hallelujah, hallelujah. You always do it wonders, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh Lord, my God, how excellent is your name. In all the end, how excellent is your oh Lord, oh Lord, my my God, how excellent is your name. In all the end, how excellent is your oh Lord. Oh Lord, my God, how oh, excellent is your name. Oh, in the end, how excellent is your name. For 
just want to say, Mama, oh, she. Oh, I just want to say. Baba oh, I say. Oh, we just want to say. Oh, I just want to say. Baba oh, I say. Oh, I just want to say. Baba oh, I say. I to bless his holy name, begin to give him praise because he's the awesome God, begin to thank him, begin to appreciate his name, begin to magnify him, thank him for today, thank him for today, thank him for the grace, thank him, thank him, thank him for the grace he has given to you and I to see this beautiful day. Thank you for the grace for taking us out and bringing us to the world. You are worthy. You are worthy. Thank you for the grace for the food and the water. We give you We give you honor. Thank you for the grace for the good health. Thank you. Thank you for the grace. Thank you for the grace. Thank you for the grace. You are worthy. You are worthy. Thank you. He's going to do more. Open your mouth and begin to thank him. Open your mouth and begin to thank him. Open your mouth and begin to thank him. You are worthy. 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 Open your mouth and begin to thank him. Thank him for the air you breathe in and breathe out. Thank him because it's awesome. Thank him for the life of your children. We give you honor. We give Thank you for the life of your husband. Thank you for the life of your wife. Thank you. Thank you for taking sickness far from us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Honor. We give you Open your mouth and thank him. Thank him. Thank you. I want to hear your voice. Open your mouth and begin to give him Open your mouth and give him thanks. Open your mouth and give him thanks. Open your mouth and give him thanks. Him alone is worthy to be praised. Him alone is worthy. Thank you, 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 you are worthy, 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 thank you, thank you. He that sits on the throne and make her his full Lord, thank you. Open your mouth and begin to thank God for today. Daddy, thank you. Thank God for today. When Daddy, you turn the you. television, you begin to hear evil news. Daddy, thank you. So it's enough for you and I to La say thank you. Bo, 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 to Listen to the gospel today, you will know you have right to say thank you. La, bo, 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 Listen to the gospel today, you will say, Lord, thank you. Open your mouth and begin to thank him. How much do you think you have given to him that is enough for you to be alive? Open your mouth and begin to thank God. Father, Open your mouth and begin to thank God. Open your mouth and begin to thank God. Open your mouth and begin to thank God. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. Ancients of days will thank you. Ancients of days will thank you. Thank you, Father. 
You are great, you are kind, you are merciful. Your mercy is enduring forever. Where give you that I am, that I am is your name. The King of Kings is your name. The Almighty God will thank you. Thank will thank you. you. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you. you. For preserving our children. For preserving you are our wives. Worthy. You are worthy. For preserving you are worthy. our husband. For preserving our father. You are worthy. You are worthy. For preserving our mother. We thank you. We give For preserving the members of living faith. We thank you. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Thank you, Father. Our heart is full of thanks to say thank you. Yes, Lord. We give you all the praise. We give you all the praise. We give you all the praise. Bless shall be your Open your mouth and begin to pray tonight. What we need the Lord that will change you. That the Lord will come and we understand the Lord. And the Lord will change you. We turn your life around. Give him praise. Give him praise. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Father, thank you. We worship you. That today no one will fall on the rocky ground. Yes, Lord. They will fall on the fertile ground in your heart. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Thank you. Thank you. Lord, none of your word will fall on the rocky ground. Lord, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Put your mouth and begin to tell God. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. worthy to be praised. Thank you. 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 Thank Thank you. Bless shall be your name. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we want to say thank you. Lord, we give you praise. This is the day that you have made. We thank you for today, Lord. We worship you, Lord. Father, we want to hear from you. Speak to us, Lord. Let the entrance of your let it give us light. Let it give us understanding. Amen. Holy Spirit, teach us this word, Lord. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And everybody will say, Amen. Amen. And everybody will say, Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Remember, we started your welcome in Jesus' name. Everyone that's listening to me in life, God bless you. Everyone on the Living Faith Bible Study Forum, God bless you. you. Everyone watching me live on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, wherever you are watching me, God bless you. I want you to open your heart as we want to study the Word of God. Amen. 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 Remember, we started, uh, we started the topic some few weeks ago. We are looking at authority in the name of of Jesus, the authority of that name, Jesus, what that name carry. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Where well, we saw that the name of Jesus is a strong name, is a strong tower. We saw that there is power in the name. We saw that the name carry authority. We saw that the name of Jesus, every name must bow, whether in heaven, on earth. And even under the head, they all bow to this name, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So we want to see how the name, today's topic is how the name of Jesus empower us to have dominion. How the name of Jesus empower us to have dominion over devil and over sicknesses and disease over sickness and disease how the name of jesus empower us that's what we want to see today praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah we have seen authority in his name now we want to see how this name jesus empower us to have dominion over the devil and over sicknesses and diseases are the name empower us praise the lord Hallelujah. number one we want to see that by redemption by redemption 
the name of Jesus, by the time to the name of Jesus, now empower us to share the same kind of life with Christ. I repeat again, by redemption, the name of Jesus allow us to share the same kind of life with Christ. What, what, what are we saying here? That because of redemption, because of redemption, we now have the same life with Christ. His name, his name make us to have the same kind of life with Christ. Because when we mention his name, that same power in his name is given to us. I told you last week that we have the power of the Antony. That there is a power given to us to use his name. So that name makes us to share the same life with Christ. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now let's see, let's see the, what the, let's see the Bible here. Yeah? Let's see John chapter 3. John chapter 3. The book of John chapter 3. John chapter 3. That's what we are saying. Number one, we are saying that we jump by redemption. His name allow us or we now make us to have the same kind of life with Christ by redemption. His name. His name. John chapter 3, verse 16. John chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world. For God so loved the world. That he gave his only begotten son. That he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth in him. That whosoever believeth in him. Should not perish. Should not, not perish. But have everlasting life. But have everlasting life. Now look at what he's saying. We have the same kind of life with Christ by redemption. Yes. Well, look at number one. Number one, by redemption, that name, Jesus' name, that God gave to him. Bible says that God gave him a name that's above every other name. That the name of Jesus, every nation, by every talk confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord. Now, by that same redemption, by that name, Bible says we now have the same kind of life with Christ. Now, if you can see it in John chapter three, verse sixteen, the Bible says there, for God so love the world. Now, look at the love that God shared for the world. He said, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him should not perish, but have what? Everlasting life. That means there is an everlasting, you are sharing the same everlasting life. Jesus, Bible says, Jesus went to the throne of grace and he sit at the right hand of God. Now, the Bible says, if you believe in him, you have everlasting life. That means there is an everlasting life in you. Praise the Lord. That means death cannot take you. Is somebody hear what I'm saying now? Amen. That means death cannot take you. That means there is a power. You now have a power over the spirit and power of death. You have power over death. You have power over sickness and disease. Because the life of Christ is in you. Praise the Lord. That means whatever name they are called in this world, death cannot kill you. Coronavirus cannot kill you. Because the Bible said you shall have everlasting life. So if you have everlasting life, where is sickness and diseases? Where is the spirit of death? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believed in him should not die. You will not die in the name of Jesus. I say you will not die in Jesus' name. No sickness and disease can kill you in the name of Jesus. 
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He said, Whoever believe in him, whosoever believe in him, will not die, will not perish, but have everlasting life. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Are you not happy that you have everlasting life? Are you not happy that you have everlasting life? Praise the Lord. God has given us everlasting life because of that name called Jesus. Because of that name called Jesus, he gave us everlasting life. Now, I want to see another place there. Let's see the book of John chapter 1. John chapter 1. The book of John chapter 1. John chapter 1. The book of John chapter 1. If you are there, John chapter 1, verse 1. Verse 12, sorry. John chapter 1, verse 12. But as many as receive him. I want you to know, is it, has, has everybody opened their Bible, please? John 1, 12. If you are there, say, I'm there. Okay, John 1, verse, verse 12, yes, please win. But as many as receive him. But as many that receive him. To them gave he power. To them he gave power. To become the son of God. To become what? The son, son of, God. of God. Even to them that believe on his name. Look at him. Even to them that believe on his name. Even to them that believe what? On his name. Even to them that believe on his name. Look at what he says. But as many as receive him. But as many as receive him. To them he gave he power. To become the sons of God. Please, who is Jesus? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Now, who are we? <laughs> The sons of God. If they look at it, for as many that receive him, to them he gave power. He gave power. He gave power to become the son of God. Even to them that believe in his name. Look at it. God has given you that same authority because of the name of Jesus. God has given you that same power because of the name of Jesus. We are seeing, we are seeing how the name of Jesus empower us to have dominion. That's what we are looking at today. How the name of Jesus empower us to have dominion that, over sickness and disease, over the spirit of death. That's what we are seeing today. Now look at it. He said, to them that believe in him, to them he gave power to become the sons of God. Please listen to me. There's power to become the sons of God. You are not just an ordinary person. A son, a, a, a son of the lion is a lion. Two of us. <laughs> There's a power given to you. I command you to receive that power in Jesus' name. Amen. Every other power must bow to you in Jesus' name. Amen. I command you to receive the power in Jesus' name. Amen. Because that power of the Anthony has been given to you. Amen. I command you, receive that power. Amen. Receive that power. Amen. Receive that power. Amen. If you say amen, you are receiving the power. Amen. He said to them that believe, he gave power to become the son of God. So we now share the same. We share the same kind of life with Christ because of redemption. We share the same life, the same kind of life with Christ because of redemption. That name, that name, that name make us to share the same life with Christ. To them that believe. He gave power. To them that believe, He gave power. To them that believe, He gave power. <laughs> ah, somebody that have been confused now. There's power coming to your life in Jesus' name. Amen. You are you are receiving that power in Jesus' name. Amen. Now look at it now. 
Now, I want us to see another place there. Let's see another Bible verse there, please. Let's see John chapter, first John chapter 3. First John chapter 3. First John chapter 3. First John chapter 3. You know, it's Bible study, so we have to go to the Word of God. Very, We have to study the Word of God. You know, uh, I, li I, li I like to go deep. I like to study more. I like to I like us to see the Word of God. It's very, very important. Heaven and earth will pass away. But this Word, this Word will not pass away. So we all need the Word. Everybody has to go back to the Word. Praise the Lord. Prophecy with faith. Hey, listen to me. Prophecy with faith. Faith with faith. But this word will not fail. So you need the word of God. Praise the Lord. First John chapter 3, verse 1. Behold. First John, are we all there? Okay. If you are there, say I'm there. Okay. Okay, please wait for us. Behold. Behold. What manner of love. What manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us. The Father. Look at it. Behold, what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us. Yes? That we should be called the Son of God. Look at it. <laughs> that we should be called what? The sons of God. Yes? Therefore, the word knoweth us not. Therefore, the word knoweth us not. Yes? Because it knew him not. Because it don't, they don't know the Father. Please read verse 2. Beloved. Beloved. Now we are with the Son of God. Look at it. Now, beloved, now are we, the we are the sons of God. of God. Now. Hallelujah. Let somebody shout hallelujah. 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 Now we are the son of God. Yes? And it does not yet appear. And it does not yet appear. Yes. What we shall, what we should be. What we shall be. Yes. But we know that uh -huh. when he shall appear. Look at it. We know that when Jesus shall appear, we shall be like him. We shall be like what? Him. him. We shall be like what? Him. Please say it well. We shall be like what? Him. We shall be like Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. For we shall see him mm -hmm. as he is. Remember that we are looking at number one thing. How the name of Jesus empowers us to have dominion. Now we say number one. We say by redemption, his name make us, or his name make us to, to, to have the same kind of life with Christ. Now look at what the Bible is saying there in First John chapter 3 verse 1. He said, behold, behold, what manner of love her. The Father has bestowed upon us. What manner? What manner? Ah, ah, just, I want you to see that place there. What manner of love? Just look at the love that God has for us. No, do you think that God will just allow you to die anyhow? No. Do you think that God can just allow sickness and disease to kill you anyhow? No. It's not possible. It's not possible. It's a beyond. What beyond? Look at the what manner of love. Uh -uh. That's what the Bible is saying there. What manner of love? Ha! Uh -uh. No, excuse me. Can you can, can, can you allow sickness and disease to kill your own baby? No. It's not possible. You will go around. You will, you will make sure you take the person to the best hospital. You will make sure that you make sure that you give the person the best treatment. Don't look at what the Bible is saying there. It said, Behold, what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us. <laughs> Why? That we should be called what? The sons of God. We are the sons of God. We share the same life with Christ. We are like Christ. Bible said God gave him a name. So God has given you that name. Sickness must bow to you in Jesus' name. Amen. I say sickness must bow to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Death must bow to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Because we don't serve a dead God. Amen. We serve a living God. Is the same yesterday, is the same today, is the same forever. When God says yes, 
nobody can say no. When God lifts you up, nobody can bring you down. Amen. When God bless you, nobody can curse you. God is on your side. Power is on your side. Amen. Holy Ghost is on your side. Amen. Jesus is on your side. Amen. Come on, wave your hand and shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Look at what the Bible says there. Behold, what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us that we should be called the Son of God. Look at it. Say, Therefore, the world knoweth us not, because it knew him not. He said, But behold, now away, now, now away the Son of God. And it does not yet appear what we shall be. But we know. Everybody say, but we know. But we know. Everybody say, but we know. But we know. That when he shall appear, we shall be like him. When he shall appear, we shall be like him. When he shall appear, we shall be like him. I see you being like Christ in Jesus' name. Amen. I see you carrying the life of Christ in Jesus' name. Amen. No sickness and disease can kill you. Amen. The Bible says Jesus spent 33 years on earth. I have never, Jesus never gone to the hospital. Jesus never went to the hospital. We have never heard that Jesus was sick. But the Bible says, Our God anointed Jesus of Nazareth. He was going up and down. Doing good. <laughs> Our God anointed Jesus. I see God anointing coming to your life now. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. We are looking at how the name of Jesus empowers us to have dominion. And the Bible says we are looking at number one thing that we I, I wrote down that by redemption, his name make us to have the same kind of life with Christ. That's what we are saying that his name. Now, I want us to see the book of 1 John chapter 4. 1 John chapter 4. 1 John chapter 4, if you are there. 1 John chapter 4. The book of 1 John chapter 4. I want to show you something there. 1 John chapter 4. 1 John chapter 4, if you are there with your Bible, open it with me. Let's read here. It's a Dickness Joe there. Dickness Love it. Minister Mike. Everyone there. Former leader, everyone. First John chapter 4, verse 17. Are you not following me? Have you not opened your Bible as you are following me? Yes? Yes? Yes. Yes. Yeah, in our love, made perfect. Yeah, yeah, in our love, made perfect. Yes. That we may have boldness. Look at it. That we may have boldness in the day of judgment. Yes. Why? Because as it is, mm -hmm. so are we in the world. So oh, oh, stop there. Stop there. Stop there. Because I want you to, I want you to mark that place. Please read it again, there. Because as he is, who? so are we. Okay, who? In this world. Who? Because as he, who is he? Jesus. I want you to do that place. There. He said, because as he is in heaven, so are we what? In this world. <laughs> You are, not, you, 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 you are not following me. Now look at what the Bible says there. The Bible says, Herein is our love, that love that God has for us. Herein is the Lord, love made perfect. Look at it there. Herein is the love made perfect. What made the love? He said, look at it. That we may have boldness. Everybody say boldness. boldness. Everybody say boldness. boldness. You don't need to be afraid of sickness and disease. You don't need to be afraid of coronavirus. You don't need to be afraid of any death. 
say somebody if they, they, somebody want to kill you or you have they are dying in your family, you don't need to be afraid. Look at what he said. He said you may have what boldness. The Bible said the righteous they are as bold as a lion. Have you ever seen a lion running from any animal? No. Have you ever seen lion running from any animal? Mm -mm. It's not possible. It's it, it very impossible. Impossible. You can't see lion running from any animal. It's coming. Oh, oh. Every other animal, every other animal, they, they have to, they have to lead the way. Now the Bible says, "Yea, we have boldness in the day of judgment." He said, "Because as Jesus, as God is in heaven." So are we in this world. No, we are looking at that. We, we, we share the same life, the same, the same life with Christ, that kind of life with Christ. Now look at what the Bible is saying there. It says, as Jesus is in heaven, so are we here on earth. As Jesus is in heaven. <laughs> God. I don't know whether somebody is hearing what I'm saying here. I, 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 I don't know whether you are getting. I don't know whether you are getting the 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 what, 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 what I'm saying here. Because, because, I, because I, I thought somebody would shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I, I, I thought somebody would shout a big hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said because as he is in heaven, so are we in this world. Please, how many demon? How many demon does Jesus? Fear. Zero. <laughs> How many sickness that Jesus that came to Jesus? No. <laughs> so how many demon will you fear? <laughs> Let somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, the Bible says, as he is in heaven, so are we here on earth. As he is in heaven, so are we here on earth. Please, I want us, I want us to really go deep into the Bible. The Bible says we have boldness. Boldness, we have boldness to come to the throne of grace. Jesus, we, we are sharing is the same likeness with him by redemption. His name gave us the power of the Antony. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So we're looking at number one thing. By redemption, his name makes us to have the same kind of life with Christ. We are looking at number two. Number two, by redemption, his name we position we position us far above where all principalities and powers torment. His name make us. He will position us. Far above his name. We position us far above. Far above. Far above. Far above his name. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. You know, we are looking at how his name, that name Jesus, empowers us to have dominion over devil and sicknesses and diseases. That's what we are looking at today. Praise the Lord. And we saw that number one thing, we've seen number one thing that because of his name, we have the same kind of life with him. We've seen that. We've seen that. We're looking at number two. His name, by his name, by redemption, his name, we position us far above where all principalities and powers can torment. His name, his name, his name, his name, his name. Let's see the book of Ephesians chapter two. Ephesians chapter two. Ephesians chapter 2. Open to Ephesians chapter 2, verse 5 and 6. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 5 and 6. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 5 and 6. Please, if you are watching me live on Facebook, on YouTube, on Instagram, Please share share the message, please. Please, yes, continue, please. 
Even when we were dead in sins, even uh, quicken us together. Please just read it. Christ. Please just read it one by one, so that I can uh, just read it gather so that I can follow you. Five and six. Even when we, even, uh, no, yes. Two verse five. Yes. Even when we were dead in sins. Even when we were dead in sins. Yes. He has quickened us together with he, Christ. He has quickened us together with Christ. By the grace he has saved. By grace he has saved. Yes? Six. Six. And has raised us up together. Look at it. Jesus, God, has raised us up together with Christ. Yes? And made us sit together in heavenly place. Look at it. He has, made, he has made us to do what? Sit together in heavenly places. In what? Heavenly places. In what? Heavenly in heavenly places. places. In Christ Jesus. In Christ Jesus. In Christ Jesus. God has raised up together with him and made us to sit down together in heavenly places. Where demon cannot come, where devil cannot come, where sickness and disease cannot come. Praise the Lord. Amen. You remember that devil and his angel, they were in heaven before. But because of you, God have to drive them down. So the Bible says, and God now took you now. And Jesus, you are sitting together with Jesus. Is somebody hear what I'm saying now? You are sitting together with Jesus. You are sitting together with Jesus in heavenly places. In heavenly places. With Christ Jesus. Where no sickness and disease can come in. Where no power of death can come in. Where there is no divorce. Where there is no, where, where, you know, I don't know whether you understand what I'm saying now. Where, where, where devil and sickness and the Satan cannot come in. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, you know, we are looking at his name. We position us far above all principalities and powers. Far above all principalities and powers. Far above all principalities and powers. His name. Now, what does it say? The same Ephesians chapter 1. Say Ephesians chapter 1. Ephesians chapter 1. Ephesians chapter 1. Ephesians chapter 1. Verse 20. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 20, 21. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 20, 21. Which he wrote in Christ. Which he wrote in Christ. When he raised him from the dead. When he raised him from the dead, yes. And set him at his own right hand. Look at it. And set him at his own right hand. In heavenly places. In heavenly places. Look at it. God raised up Jesus from dead and set him at his own right hand in heavenly places. Remember where we read in Ephesians chapter uh, 2 there? You remember where we read in Ephesians chapter 2? The Bible says he has made us to sit together with Christ in heavenly places. Now look at look at verse 21. Look at look at verse 21 there. Far above all principalities. He said what? He said what? Far above what? <laughs> Look at it. You far above all principalities and power, yes? And might. And might. And dominion. And dominion. And every name. And, look at it. And every name that is named. Yes. Not only in this world, not only in this world, but also in that which is to come. 
Ah, somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> no, no, just look at what the name of Jesus has brought to us. Look at what the name of Jesus, look at the dominion this name brought to mankind. Look at Bible says, behold, what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us that we should be called the Son of God. Bible says, look at Ephesians chapter 1, verse 20. You know, we are looking at his name. We position us far above. That's what we are doing. His name. We position us far above all principalities. But look at what he said. He said, which he was in Christ when he raised him from the dead and set him at at his own right hands in heavenly places. Look at it. Verse 1. This is this what I'm just dealing with. He said, far above. <laughs> uh, whose sickness, whose sickness go kill you when you are far above? Whose death go kill you when you are far above? Which coronavirus or what they call it, COVID-19 or whatever whatever name that is called, whatever name that is called, what, what, what sickness? But when you are far, when you are far above, Bible says you are far above all oh, principalities. He said all. Oh. He didn't say one. A above powers. He said and might and dominion. And every name that is named, and every name that is named, uh, and every name that is named, coronavirus has not come, it just came out now. And above every name that is named, look at it, not only in this world, uh, but also in that which to come. Even if other sickness are coming, even if other devil or if other Satan they are coming, the Bible says God, God, God has make you to go far above all sickness, all disease. No sickness can kill you in the name of Jesus. No death can kill you in the name of Jesus. Because you are far, you are far above. You are far above. You are far above. You are far above all sickness and diseases. Amen. Let somebody shout amen. 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 Let somebody shout amen. 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 Church, please listen to me. There is power. There is authority in that name Jesus. That name carry power. That name carry authority. When you measure the name demon bow, when you measure the name powers bow, when you measure the name sickness see you and run away, when you measure the name dead see you and bow, the Bible said God has made you to sit together with Christ and both of you, you are far above all principalities. You are far above all powers. You are far above all name that is named, whether in this world or the world to come. Church, you need to rejoice. Let somebody shout hallelujah again. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. It's like we're going to stop here so that we can have questions or contributions. And you know that we are to bless the Holy Communion. We have one hour to go live. We started by 7 that is already going to 8 30 now by European time. By uh, UK time is almost going to 7 30. And remember, we have to have questions, we have to have control, we have to pray. So we're supposed to pray. So we won't want to waste time because the technical code already given me sign that I need to sign out. Our time is going fast. Praise the Lord. So I'm praying for everyone. I want to quickly bless the only communion so that we can ask our question and contribution. Praise the Lord. So if you are if you are prepared your holy communion, you remember that God told us in this church that we should be taking the holy communion to vaccine ourselves against this pandemic, against this demon called coronavirus, against this devil called COVID-19. God told us we should take this holy communion to vaccine, to unite, to unite, we ourselves against this 
deadly sickness. So if you are there with your Holy Communion, let's bless it before we go to our question and contribution. I give you time to prepare it quickly. If you are, maybe you have not been following us live on Facebook, on YouTube, on Instagram, every Wednesday by 7.30 p.m. European time, 6.30 p.m. UK time, we will be live here for the Bible study, studying the Word of God, also taking the Holy Communion together. Also, on Sunday, 11 a.m., Living Faith Transformation will be coming live. So please get ready. Also, on Sunday, prepare your Holy Communion. We take the Holy Communion every Wednesday, every Sunday. Please get ready, prepare your Holy Communion, get the bread, get the fruit of the vine, which is the wine, as I bless it. Are you ready? As I bless it. Let me know. Let's get your foot of the vine. I want to bless it now. Father, in the name of Jesus, God told us in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 23, which I'm also presenting to you, say, I have received of the Lord that which also I'm presenting to you, that the Lord Jesus, that same night which he was killed, but he took bread after he had blessed it, he also took the cup after he has blessed it, he said, do this in remembrance of me. So that's what we are doing now. I'm giving you what Jesus has committed to my hand, I'm also giving it back to you. Father, in the name of Jesus, Amen. I bless this Holy Communion in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord, everyone, I don't know wherever you are, you are watching me live on Facebook, on YouTube, on Instagram. I pray, I bless your Holy Communion in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I declare that bread to be turned to the body of Jesus Christ. Amen. I declare, I prophesy upon the foot of the vine to be changed to the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. As you take it, the life of Jesus will come into your life mm. in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm. You will be like Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm. The Bible says, Behold, what manner of love the Father has bestowed us all upon us, that we should be called the Son of God. The Bible says, God, Jesus, God, God has making us to go far above all principalities and all powers. I should take this only communion. You are far above all principalities and all powers mm. in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm. Father, thank you. I declare this only communion blessed. Mm. In Amen. the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. God bless you. All of you that is watching us live, God bless you. Please join us again next on Sunday for our live broadcast. Living Faith National Ministry will be coming live 11 a.m. Also, every Wednesday, we are here every Wednesday by 7.30 European time, 6.30 UK time. God bless you for watching us. And you remember, as I always say, it is not over until it is over. God bless you. See you next Wednesday. In Jesus' name.